Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just wanted to let you guys know that the hurricane has hit Houston pretty bad. We haven't had power or internet at our house for about six days now. And so that's going to inhibit us from shipping and it's going to be a little bit of a shipping delay. The local power company says that we we'll would have power back on the 14th, maybe the 17th of July. So if you would do order something from us on our website, just to let you know, we're going to be waiting to ship those things until everything can be restored and the local U.S. Postal Service can ship things for us. And so let's jump into today's show. Hey guys, Drew Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be at the fun show this week and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to meet with a lot of people. We're going to try to get some interviews. We're going to see what we're going to purchase as well. But for the next 10 days, we're going to be staying in this little cottage. It's one that we showed you about six months ago. So we're paying about $40 a night to live here. And for, you know, being in July and it being down in Florida, especially in Orlando, you're going to be paying like $200 to $250 a night. So paying $40 a night here is pretty awesome. It's going to allow us to not only uh, save some money, but we're also able to eat better as well. Sometimes dealers end up spending 200 bucks or 300 bucks on a hotel room and then they're eating complete crap like pizza and everything else. So we're going to show you guys a little bit of the cottage. We're also going to show you what we picked up at the store um, just so we can make sure that our minds are fueled and our bodies are fueled. But let's take a short little walk around. Casey can show you uh, the absolute beautiful amenities. These, these couches are just phenomenal. I mean, I feel like I'm on an HGTV show in 1975. Uh, you got a table, everything that you might need, right? This is something that's a money saver for us as well, which is just the stove and the sink. We also have a full bathroom down here. And uh, let me turn on this. Full bathroom in here if Casey wants to pan in there real quick. And sadly, there's only one bed. Which is okay. It's gonna get a little dark in here, but that's okay. It's only one bed in here, but you make do with what you can. All right, so what do we get, Casey? We got some potatoes, and uh, we got some butter, of course. You're gonna need butter for what we're making. Nice and frozen now. And a, sorry, the A1 sauce exploded on the transit here. A, uh, Huge ribeye. And then we also got some nanners. Yep, bananas, some uh, lights for coin photo taking, etc. Dinner of champions. What do you got, man? Wouldn't be any grill time without Dolly and her uh, and her infamous uh, guitar on the back. Costco special, $25. Coin show, twenty dollar parking. If you're going to the coin show, West Concourse, not North. What? Piece of gas? Yeah. All right, guys. So we ended up running into this first deal with Fully Coin Shop. When they came to the show, they basically opened up their boxes and said, hey, you guys get first shot. They're great people to work with if you're ever in the area or if you want to reach out to them on Instagram and see what kind of watches or other coins that they might have. And so what they ended up selling us was some old green holders that were CAC approved Morgan dollars. They ended up selling us some nicer piece dollars. They ended up selling us some nice type coins that had a little bit of color or maybe they were blast white. And so very happy with this first purchase of the show. And we're about to show you guys an interview with Noah from Rarity7. He's everything that you would want as a professional coin dealer. He has a website that he just launched when we were making this video. It was his birthday that day. And everything all the way is professional. He has great customer service. He's someone that I would go to if I wanted to collect better coins, high-end coins, key day coins, or maybe just talk to somebody about collecting. If you guys ever want to reach out to Noah, make sure to watch this interview right now, and we hope you guys enjoy it. 
All right, guys, so we're here with Noah at Rarity 7. He wanted to show us something cool from the Summer Fun Coin Show. Yeah. What do you want to show us, Noah? Uh, I am really excited about this. Um, I bought this pretty recently. This is a original uh, 1884 proof set. Now, you talk to most coin dealers, and you talk about proof sets, and they're going to kind of roll, your eye, roll their eyes and groan a little bit because they're used to seeing, you know, 1994 proof sets, which unfortunately aren't really worth that much. But when you get into the 1800s, you're talking some real stuff here. So this is an original 84 proof set. Um, I bought this uh, from a dealer friend of mine, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about how I came about it. First off, um, I'll describe it, it's amazing. So I'll go through each of the coins. Um, the first is uh, the Indian set. First off, I, I gotta point out, these are all in matching NGC uh, gold embossed fatty holders. Um, it's not, they're not the white labels, that would make this a lot more valuable, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, close enough. Um, I think it's the generation that came immediately past the white labels when they added the NGC logo to the back of the label. So they're all in matching gold embossed fatty holders. Um, uh, six of the seven coins have CAC approval. Uh, I'll go through the coins one by one. The Indian, uh, which is, I think, a pretty gorgeous coin. Um, I had all of these looked at by some pretty knowledgeable guys recently. Uh, the Indian um, is a 66 red-brown CAC. You know, I think it's probably closer to a brown these days. Um, it does have a CAC sticker on it, which means they agree with the grade. Um, I don't think it's better than a six. I think it's a really nice six. It's probably a six brown uh, at this point, but it's got beautiful sort of purple and blue uh, toning, uh, cabinet toning, uh, which is just gorgeous. So I love that one, that's great. Um, second up, we have the three cent nickel. The three cent nickel, uh, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, this is probably a seven. Um, you know, gorgeous golden toning with some uh, sapphire highlights. Uh, and this is in a Proof 66 holder with a green CAC sticker. Then we get to our first gold sticker, uh, the 84 Liberty. Unbelievable, this is easily a seven plus, uh, possibly bordering on an eight uh, in terms of grade. Beautiful, uh, almost cameo-like toning. Um, I don't know that I'd give it a cameo. It might, it might be a cameo for sure, uh, but beautiful toning, electric blue with some hints of gold in there, really gorgeous coin. Uh, the only coin which is not a superstar is the quarter. This is truly a six. Um, it might be a low-end six. A uh, little dark, but you know, you can't win on every single coin. I think maybe the obverse was stored in a way that just kind of gave it a little bit more of a muted color. The reverse does have that same deep album toning that the cent and the half dollar have. Uh, so that's our quarter. Then we get to our dime, another gold CAC, uh, easily a seven. Uh, easily a seven. Beautiful electric purple and blue uh, rainbow toning that's uh, come over the years with deep mirrors. Uh, really, really gorgeous coin. The half, super original. This is a Proof 65. Uh, this, you know, uh, by itself probably is not the most desirable type of color, but with the match set, with the album toning that you get, that, you know, look, these sat in, in in cases for decades and you know perhaps even a century and develop this deep toning so you've got very beautiful original cabinet toning on this 84 um, half and then of course we get to the best coin the dollar which is a stunning a cameo for sure it's currently in a proof 65 gold CAC holder uh, easily a six plus um, cameo Arguably a seven cameo. That we can we can debate whether it's a six plus or a seven, uh, but I think it's certainly on the border between six plus and seven. Uh, beautiful toning, the, clearly the star of this set. But you know, all of them together come uh, are, are gorgeous, and uh, that's it. That's the beautiful uh, set, and I'm I'm super excited to own it. Yeah. So a quick question about proofs. Like, if someone was trying to gauge grade, what's something that you normally look out for when you're looking at? A difference between maybe a proof 65 to maybe a proof 68. I think the the biggest things that, that come down to with that are you know proofs. A lot of people don't know this initially. Proofs were all cleaned back in the day in the 1880s and 90s uh, and 1900s. Um, the the it was common. You'd put them in your cabinet and you'd give them a little wipe every once in a while to keep the dust off or maybe give them a little polish. And so what really is going to keep you. Uh, I would say start with a, any given proof is going to be a 67 coming off the line, I think. Um, 
And then the eights are the ones that are super, that, that have developed extra flash, that you know, maybe they just polished the die, or maybe you have that beautiful cameo, an extra strong strike, and there's just no ticks. Um, so I think generally you start with a seven, uh, and then you, you know, extra nice for minting process, you're gonna get into your eights or nines, you know, more like eights, uh, but you're basically starting at a seven. Uh, and then it's how much how how dark the toning is. You know, sometimes you can start with a proof 67 that was never white, but if it really got dark, like this 84 quarter, and you know you start to get into where you hurt the eye appeal a little bit, that's why I would call this probably a six or a five. But generally, it's going to be your hairlines uh, that is the number one factor that's going to bring you down. So if we look at the Morgan dollar, which I think is the canonical example. Um, it does have a little faint, faint little wipe under the chin. There is a little bit of hairlines in the field. It was not partially clean, but clearly sometime in its life, somebody took a little polishing cloth to it and maybe gave it a little bit of a rub. Um, and that's why this is not a solid seven and certainly not an eight, because uh, you'd have to have those no hairlines in the field. Um, but it really comes down to, you know, when it comes to other uncirculated coins, cleaning is, you know, you're going to go into a no grade right away. But when it comes to a proof, it's all about the hairlines. Uh, and that's really what you should be looking at. Yeah, so on this set, what would you kind of value it at, Noah, if someone was looking at it maybe on your website or at the show? We have this set price at $30,000. Um, and that is, uh, you know, it, it's you can look at it by the coin. Um, you're generally that's going to be a little bit higher if you go buy the coin. Um, I think if you call the Morgan dollar a seven cameo, then that's actually a pretty good price. Um, we priced it as if it was a six plus cameo. And then we added a little bit for the gold stickers, the fact that it's all a set together and the originality that they're all in the original NGC holders as a match set. Yeah, what other coins are you sharing with people today uh, at the show? Oh, I've got so many other coins to share at the show. Uh, there's some really, really great stuff here. Um, you know, we have a, we have four full display cases, and, and then my friends haven't even shown up yet. So um, we've got a lot of CAC approved stuff. We've got uh, some gold. We've got a lot of Morgan dollars. We've got some tone coins, uh, and it is all on our website. So you can actually browse every bit of our current inventory on Rarity7.com, including this proof set. If it's still there by the time this video gets live. Yeah. If someone want to give you a call and sell something to you or, or ask you a question, what would be your phone number? Yeah. So we've got two numbers. We've got an 800 number, which is eight three. 3 rarity 7 um, very simple to remember 833 rarity 7 um, and you can just email me noah n o a h at rarity7.com all righty noah thank you so much thanks a lot drew all right guys so this is day 2 of the fun show and we just walked in we had a customer come up to us and say hey i want to show you these gold coins you want to make an offer we made an offer we bought them which is cool uh, the first coin is this $18.99, $20 gold piece, 64 plus CAC. More bullion coins, but you know, CEC approved gold is tough because a lot of PCGS and NUC just grade them more generously, I think, than CAC. And then this uh, 1927 Saint 64 plus CEC approved, which is nice. And then we have this 1806 over 5, great bust half, and fine 12 cap. And then we have this 1904 64 plus cap. So, not crazy money. Most of the stuff in this market, especially this gold like this, you might sell and make $100 profit or $150 profit, but you help out a customer, they get money for the show, and they end up giving you a little bit of profit as well. You can go take that to a different dealer and uh, make a few bucks. So really thankful for these coins. Let's see what else we can get. Money. All right, guys, so party's happening right now. So we just bought 26 OGHs from a customer. So the power of making videos that people enjoy is uh, being able to buy cool coins from them. So we ended up buying a lot of cool coins from them. And uh, a lot of these are Morgan dollars, a few peace dollars in there. Uh, if you want to kind of get a better bird's eye view, Casey, if you don't mind. He picked out really nice looking flashy coins. Someone just took a dump. I'm gonna include that in the video, so. But, I mean, just fantastic pieces. Had to pay up for them, but 
providing you guys with coins that you really do like is something that we uh, try to pride ourselves on. I ended up buying a gold piece as well as 1901 San Francisco. It's, you know, it's a bullion coin, but people like bullion coins. And uh, we try to make a few bucks here and there on that. And so uh, we ended up actually meeting a guy named Mike as well. He ended up wanting to sell us some seeded half dollars. We're going to show you guys maybe later. But it's been, definitely been a great show for us. And uh, the amount of support you guys have showed us as well. Getting to sit down with you guys, talk with you guys, take photos with you guys. That really has made our show apart from just doing coin deals here and there. So uh, let's go back to... The, where we're staying and uh, show you guys some more cool coins. So before we left the show yesterday, we ended up buying a few more cool coins from some subscribers and we ended up buying about seven seated half dollars that were all circulated and they were pre-Civil War to Civil War dates from the late 50s to early 60s. And it's just cool to be able to see that type of stuff and it being offered to you. And now it's going to be offered to you guys on AkushaCollectibles.com. But had a really good show. If you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on everything that we were talking about today and just the adventure that we took you on. Or if you made it to the fun show, what were your thoughts? And subscribe. We just passed 9,000 subscribers. So we are so thankful. We will see you guys next time.